After I trusted Christ, I took off for California. And the first Christmas, and uh, my mother had died, and then my father died. And it was the first Christmas, and it kept coming back to me. Was Mom a believer? Is my mother going to be in heaven? I kept thinking, she must be going to be in heaven because she's gone through hell on earth with my dad, who had beat her till she was a bloody pulp and couldn't stand up or anything. And I drove to the beach, to Manhattan Beach, California. It was about a 45 minute drive. And before I left, I remember I sat in the car in my MG and I said, Lord Jesus, I just need to know. I just somehow, can I find out, was my mom a believer or not? Is she gonna be in heaven? I just, I just gotta know, and then I can go on with my life. I couldn't focus on anything. And it was just like the Holy Spirit was burning me about it. So, this was probably about 10 o'clock. So I got to Manhattan Beach about 10.45. I parked my car and I walked out. There's a famous Manhattan Beach pier. And I must have looked a little depressed. I was leaning over the end of the pier on the uh, railing like this, and just kind of shaking my head. And I heard this voice say, don't do it, young man. She thought I was gonna jump. <laughs> I wouldn't have killed me anyway. I just watched it. And I said, do what, jump? Oh, I said, old lady, I'm not even close to that. So I started, so I went over where she was fishing, started talking. And, I, and she said, where are you from? I said, uh, Michigan. And uh, I said, Union City, Michigan. She said, oh, I had some relatives and everything that lived there. I said, really, who? She said, Wilmot and Edith McDowell. I said, that's my parents. Uh, I said, I'm Josh, you're Josh McDowell? Yes, it was Josh, then J-O-S. And she said, well, I'm Emma, I'm Aunt Emma. I couldn't believe it. I had always heard my parents always talk about Aunt Emma this, Aunt Emma that, and then whenever they would go vacation, they'd drive all the way to California to see Aunt Emma in Manhattan Beach. And said, I grew up with your mom and dad, and your mom and I were really close. And I thought, oh my glad I asked this question. I said, let me ask you a question. Do you know if mom, my mother, ever accepted Christ? She said, oh yes, we accepted Christ together. We went to this revival meeting and we walked forward together and accepted Christ. We were about 15 years old. I went, I mean, I got chills, everything else. I thought, whoa, it was only about an hour and 15 minutes that I sat there and prayed what I thought way out in California, didn't know anyone, 2,000 miles away from where I was born, everything. I said, God, please show me. Show me that my mother was a believer. Come on, how can you pray a prayer like that? And within an hour and 15 minutes, I found the answer. Oh, I'll tell you this. There's no one I'd rather serve in life than Jesus Christ. Uh, and to see how he cared about that little area of my life and he revealed it to me. And let me tell you, did I have a good nine, 10 days of studying and rejoicing knowing my mother was in heaven.